Hello and welcome to Cloud Solutions Tech. In this video, you are going to be learning how to build JAR using Maven. And the code that we used earlier on that we cloned from the last video, we are going to be using the same video. So we need to define a Maven installation. So let's go again to manage Jenkins and then we'll go to to configuration right here. And in here, we are going to look for Maven right here. And then we'll click on Add Maven. So here, we can just give it a name and just say, uh, we can give it any name, but for this video, let's just give it Jenkins. Let's give it Jenkins Maven. And then in here, you are going to put the Maven version. So right there, you see it has the latest version already. So you can go with that uh, latest version. So that's all we need to do here. And I just do install automatically. And then we just do save. So let's go to our Maven job. So we have our Maven job right here. So now, remember that we started configuring our Maven job. So we create our Maven job which right now is only cloning from the github repository so let's configure our job so let's go to our maven job let's go to configure and then here in the build step session now what we are going to do we are going to use uh in the past video we have used execute shell so in this particular job we are not using execute shell we are going to use invoke top level maybe target so that is what we'll be using here so right now you see it's asking us for the maybe version but remember that we already configured that earlier on so we'll just click on this drop down so that one that we created jenkins maybe we'll click on that but if you have a preferred version that you want to use you can use that or if you have you know a specific uh, version then just remember you know to go into the global to configuration to define the whichever version that you want to use all right so for the goal we have to define the goal so what are we going to put here in the goal so what we want to do here is nothing really much but just building a jar so now the question is how do we build a jar using uh maybe well uh let's go to the repository when you're going to this jenkins folder right here you will see a jenkins file right here and in this jenkins file and don't worry i'm still going to do another video on jenkins file so i'm going to talk about that so in here you will find out how to build uh a jar file right you see build maybe this is the particular line right here that we are going to be using because if you are invoking uh this maybe target then you are already using maybe command so we are going to pass the flags let's copy just right here so like i said earlier on if you are already using invoke top level maybe target then you are already using Maven command. So uh, all we need to do is just pass the flags. So that is what I've just copied from here. All right. So in this go, I'm just going to paste that in there. All right. So we are saying here that skip the test. And then after skipping the test, actually, you know, do a package, which means the jack, right? So that's everything that we are going to do for now. So let's click on save. And then after that, let's click on build now. So let's go to the build history. Let's go to the console output. All right. So this is our console output right there. So as you can see, the first thing that the job is going to do it is going to pull the newest uh the latest version from the github repository which you can see going on right here 
because this is the first time that we are running the job the maven version that we have specified is not uh is not installed so jenkins is going to start downloading that for us as you can see so the download process is going going on so don't worry this is this part is going to happen only once right all this downloading part is going to happen only once so it may take a while it depends on how your you know how fast your internet connection is so let's go to the bottom all right as you can see build success so that was successful so as you can see the job already finished downloading the packages and as, as i told you earlier it's only going to do all this you know for the first time so if you do that later if you do if you run this build another time it's not going to take this time and then right now you can see finally right here building jar right you can see our jar file right there which is success right you say build success that's our jar file right there so which is called in the devil's world as an artifact in jenkins right what is an artifact so an artifact refer to like a file that is generated as a result of a build process so these files can include uh compiled binary executables uh libraries documents uh i mean uh documentations uh test results and the other files that are produced during the execution of that jenkins job you understand so all the things that are happening him right here so we we'll have this right here so that is what i'm trying to uh explain by saying that this jar the result that we have uh, that we have right here in devops you know we call it artifact so this artifact is actually located in the wall in the in the workspace as well remember earlier on i showed you how to you know locate your workspace so the code is actually cloned in the workspace so if we go into uh, our terminal clear my screen so let's just quickly get the full part so the full part is right here okay so on the workspace maven job already maven job so the full part to that is target and then right here so let's do ls so we have the target right there let's see into target so inside of oh okay yeah, not ls so inside of target now we have right here so this is our job build right here so this is pretty cool and then if you want to build the file with the permissions we can so we do ls-l with ls-l we can see the permissions right here so let's go back up 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 so remember now that you know everything that we are doing now is more like you know our first continuous integration right so what we are, what is going to happen is that the first thing we are going to do or that Jenkins is going to go ahead is download and clone the repository to your workspace so that means it is going to like do all the execution you know and that is going to you know have a new code and then uh, with the latest version of that code so after that you are running uh a maybe package right so let's go ahead and just see let's build it one more time so you can see so it's, it's not supposed to take long like the other one that we did so we can see right there that building it for another time again now what is going to happen first that is going to uh jenkins is going to go ahead and then you know clone the repository from the workspace so that means that every execution is going to have a new code or maybe like a latest version of that code and then after that we are going to have our maven uh package which is actually going to take uh the the form 
which is that the pom.xml uh, file. And then if we go through that directory, let me quickly show you um, right here. Let's go to back to that Maven directory. We have our pom.xml file right here. So you are actually using the pom.xml file when you are doing Maven packet. So Maven is actually looking at the code that you have downloaded uh, previously. So and based on that, Maven is actually going to build a new jar for you. So I believe you have learned a lot in this video. So see you in the next lesson where I'll be showing you how to test your code. See you in the next lesson.